Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today I will teach you how you can cut to any freely selected card from a shuffle pack of playing cards. I believe this is something that you will love to learn. Without further ado, let's get started. So guys, for this effect, I need a shuffle pack of playing cards. And I'll need one of the spectators to pick any card he or she wants to, let's say this one over here, in this case the King of Clubs. If the spectator wants to, the card can be signed of course, in this case we will just leave it the way it is, and once it has been remembered, it will just go into the center of the pack, and even can be shuffled by the spectator, as many times he or she desires. Now, at this point, the magician is really out of control, he has no clue where the card is. But somehow, by just feeling his position, the magician is able to cut to their card, the king of clubs. And that's basically what we will learn today. I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did so, let me know in the comment section below and of course by leaving a thumbs up on this video. But now, let's get started with the explanations. So guys, here is now the explanation for this effect. In my opinion, it is very quick, but probably one of the most impressive effects as you are really out of control when the spectator shuffles the card, which is the part that sells this effect, in my opinion. However, this trick uses a little gimmick. I like to call it a Brivacrimp Plus. Now, if you don't know what a Brivacrimp is, when you take a card and apply a grip like this one on the cards, okay, where you have the middle and the next finger next to each other and the thumb goes in between them. And in between those fingers, you place a playing card. Okay, so the thumb meets at the center and you do the exact same thing with the other hand. Okay, notice the fingertips are at the center of the card. Now you just apply a little bit of pressure with your thumb on the card and peel away from the center to the corners and you repeat the same process with the other corners so you go to the center apply pressure and peel away and that's how you do a bridge crimp okay now what this does is this when you place now this card in the center of the pack you are able to cut to it even though you don't know its exact position so you can shuffle the cards but somehow you are able to cut to that bridge crimp card Okay, so that's basically what it does. When you apply the Brita crimp from its face, the card will end up here. If you do the Brita crimp on its back, the card will end up here. Okay, so not here, it's, it will end up here. So that's basically what a Brita crimp does. Before I go into the in-depth explanation of that, because you will add one more thing to this to be able to perform it like I performed it. Now, the first thing, how you use the Brita Crimp. Now, I can't really explain it because it is all a matter of feeling, okay? I can't really tell you you will aim for a point and then lift up. No, it is something that happens automatically. You just have to go with your middle finger and with your thumb on the long edges of the card. Without applying a lot of pressure on the sides of the card, you will just grip and lift up. And the pack will automatically lift up at that Brita Crimp card. This sounds pretty confusing if you never use the Brita Crimp card, but that's the way it is. One tip maybe, don't aim for a specific spot. Okay, don't aim for the bottom third because then you will fail. Just without looking, reach, lift up. Okay, and you will feel that it really lifted up automatically, so you know you cut to the joker. If for some reason you feel, okay, that's not it, then it might be because you aim for a specific spot, or it might be because the Brita Crimp card is somewhere on top or somewhere in the bottom part of the pack. If that's the case, just say, oh, it would have been great, you failed and complete the cut. This now makes sure that the card is now somewhere in the center so you can cut to it, right? So that's basically uh, just a quick walkthrough of the Brita Crimp card. But now let's talk about the Brita Crimp card that we will use for this specific effect, okay? The way I additionally gimmick this 
makes it possible to shuffle the cards. I mean, you could create a similar effect uh, without the extra thing, but then you wouldn't be able to shuffle the cards like so, like that freely. You would be able to cut the cards only with the other version. We will focus on my version. It is a Brita Cream card from its face, as I've taught you at the beginning. And you just take a piece of double-sided tape and apply it in the center of the card. That's it. This card gets started on the bottom of the pack and you're ready to go. Just have any card selected, the King of Hearts, and place it facing up on top of the pack. Now, once the card has been signed and remembered, you swing cut the pack. Here I have now my Brita Crimp card. I turn the King of Hearts around and drop all cards on top of it, meaning the King of Hearts is now underneath my Brita Crimp card. And when I apply a little bit of pressure on the pack, the two cards will stick together. My motivation for applying a little bit of pressure on the pack is turning it around. As I'm turning it around, notice I am applying pressure in the center of the pack. Now I know that the card is really stuck to the Joker. This is now actually a double, as you can see. Okay, but it will stick together. Okay, and again, my motivation, I say, the card is really lost somewhere in the center of the pack. And notice, I basically just turned around the pack, at the same time stuck the two cards together. Now, in a fluent motion, I go ahead and shuffle the cards. And as I'm looking at this pack here, I'm saying, oh, go ahead and shuffle the cards yourself. And this is, in my opinion, the point that sells this fact, really. Okay, they shuffle the pack. Now, you take the pack, square them up. Now, as I've said at the beginning, you just go ahead with your middle finger and thumb, lift up the pack so it cuts automatically. And the card you will cut to will be their selection. Now it is in this case the King of Hearts, the Brita Crimp card right behind it. They were in the top third of the pack and I, will, and I was still able to cut to them. So unless your card is not right here in the bottom few cards or the top few cards, you will be able to cut to them, okay? And if it is really on top or on the bottom, you just have to give the cards one more cut and this will make sure it is in the center. So you will be able to cut to your king of hearts in this case, just like so. Now notice, you're in this position, everyone freaks out. No one will say, oh, give me the king of hearts, there is something fishy with it. Even if they say something like that, you can fix that. The way you fix that is pretty simple. You take the King of Hearts, you can handle it pretty freely actually. You place it on the face of the cards, right? Tilt the pack towards yourself and just peel it away and give it out for examination. Now you're in this position where the joke is on the bottom and you are actually now ready to perform it a second time. And everything is examinable. And that's basically all to it. In my opinion, a very fun use of the Brita Cream card I like to call it the Brita Crimp Card Plus because of the double-sided tape, but that's really all to it. A very quick, visual, fooling effect in my opinion that I really hope you enjoy. That was the video, I'll see you next time.